Fucker. Christie's endorsement of Trump shocked many in the Republican establishment. A major effort is underway inside the GOP to stop the billionaire. The front runner is charging towards the number of delegates he needs for the nomination. Juliana Goldman is here with how big donors are stepping up to derail Trump. Juliana, good morning. Good morning. Well, an anti-Trump super PAC is planning a two-week ad blitz in the next round of states. They claim new research will unearth a trove of dirt on Trump going beyond his controversial statements to focus on his business deals. The plan is to assault the Republican frontrunner and those who support and endorse him. I think we're going to be a much bigger party, and I think we're going to win in November. As okay. Donald Trump pushes toward enough delegates to secure the Republican nomination. It takes a lot of courage to run for president. The GOP establishment's identity crisis has reached a fever pitch. The math is completely in Trump's favor. Republicans will be committing an abortion on their own party. Unless there is an explosion in Thursday night's debate, that Donald Trump is going to be the nominee. We've actually expanded the party. And with more than 300 delegates already in his hands, one super PAC that's been trying to stop Trump in his tracks is upping its game. Because I'm a conservative, but I'm a common sense conservative. He's not a lifelong conservative. He's not a consistent conservative. He's a fraud. Tim Miller was the communications director for Jeb Bush's campaign. Now he's the senior advisor for our principles PAC, which says so far no one has tried to stop Donald Trump. Donald Trump tells people what he thinks they want to hear. So whether it's on immigration or abortion or gun control or taxes or health care. The super PAC spent millions on ads in Iowa to prevent a Trump caucus win there. I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy. And plans to plow forward with a two-week spending spree, focusing on the states with primaries and caucuses from March 8th to March 15th. The group's money is reportedly coming from well-heeled billionaire Republican donors. The Ricketts family, Todd and his mother Marlene, majority owners of the Chicago Cubs, the hedge fund manager Paul Singer, and Meg Whitman, president and CEO of Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Tonight is the beginning of Donald Trump bringing the Republican Party together. Whitman was Chris Christie's former national finance co-chair and blasted his support for Trump as opportunism. The donor disapproval is being mirrored by the Republican establishment. You'll never convince me that Donald Trump is the answer. It will tear the party apart. It will divide conservatism. Some Republicans have told us this is too little too late. For one, attacks haven't really hurt Trump, and the time to try new messages was months ago. And furthermore, now it risks hurting the party as a whole. They say there's a difference between not lending, to, lending support to the presumptive GOP nominee and actively working against him. But what's interesting, they're going to focus on his business failures, on Trump's billions, business failures, like Trump University and other things. But the concern is that it's now too little, too late. All right, Juliana, thank, them. thank you.